This is Boxing Talk 8576. I just look, I just got done watching the Jermaine Taylor, Sam Solomon, IBF championship. Um, it was a, a wild fight, in my opinion. Kind of a lot of holding, a lot of falling in, a lot of missed punches. Um, Sam Solomon, in my opinion, won the two out of the first three rounds, and Jermaine Taylor started coming on. Jermaine wasn't using his jab in the first couple of rounds, I thought. I I think Jermaine Taylor got a pretty good jab. He was just waiting on Sam Solomon and seeing what he was doing. I think he was trying to catch Sam, Sam Solomon coming in because Sam Solomon likes likes to move out on the outside and then he likes to come in and jump in and throw punches and clinch. And I think Jermaine Taylor was trying to catch him, but he wasn't. the timing wasn't on. And his corner told him to start using his jab more. So he started using his jab. Around about fifth round, he started having more success with his jab. Uh, the sixth round... Uh, I thought he won. The seventh round, he dropped Sam Solomon. Sam Solomon got up like he was limping. It looked like he messed up his either his ankle or his knee. Um, then he went down. He went down again after at the end of the uh, seventh round. In the eighth round, he was he came out limping, and you can tell right then and there that his his it was, had something to do with his ankle or his knee. Uh, Jermaine Taylor, you know, was using his jab. Was trying to. He just took advantage of you know. Uh, Sam Solomon, you know, lack of mobility at that point. Sam Solomon was in survival mode from that point on. He knocked him down, knocked Sam Solomon down a couple more times uh, due to him, um, you know, having a bad will. But um, Jermaine Taylor, you know, he's an IVF champion. You know, it doesn't matter how he got it. He got it. He was in there fighting. Sam Solomon showed a lot of heart. A lot of fighters probably would have, you know, found a way to get out the fight. But uh, Sam Solomon, you know, he convinced his corner a couple times in between rounds not to stop the fight because his corner said they was going to stop the fight. But um, I don't know what's next with Jermaine. Um, Jermaine, you know, he was he was off from boxing for a little while. He's, he's been making his comeback. He's, he um, had a, a brain bleed. It was documented that he had an actual blank brain bleed. So, you know, a lot of people were like, he shouldn't be fighting. I was one of the ones to say he shouldn't be fighting either. But he got in the ring. He took advantage. He won the IBF middleweight championship, and yeah, he's back in business. I don't know. He's with Al Heyman, so I don't know what, what he's going to do next. I see that he got the belt, so we'll see what Al Heyman does with him, you know, for his next fight. But it seemed like Jermaine Taylor, um, you know, is um, somewhat back now. In my opinion, he it looks like he's waiting a lot. He needs to use his jab. He got a pretty good jab, but... His whole career, Jermaine Taylor falls in with the right hand. He's still falling in with the right hand at the age of 36. He needs to clean that up. I mean, he, he has to clean that up. If he's in the fight in the fight with someone a little bit more dangerous than Sam Solomon, he's going to get caught again because he falls in. He needs to throw the right hand under control. When he throws the right hand under control, he's pretty good in there. So, you know, go back to the gym, look at the tape. Trainer got to keep them, you know, from falling in. They had to do something, you know, to to correct that, you know, at least at least he probably can't correct it, you know, a hundred percent. He probably gonna still do it sometimes, but he needs to correct correct it and get more, you know, precision and more timing on the right hand off the jabs. But um, other than that, just you know, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think is next. For um, Jermaine Taylor and Sam Solomon. This is Boxing Talk 8576. I'm out.